This is how to build a deck behind a park model and add-on. These are the Simpson ties we'll be using along with the primer spray paint. This is the add-on. We'll build a deck level with the door. Removing the tiles and getting the groundwork ready for the deck. The piers are installed and we are using a string level to line them all up as you can see. We are cleaning the gravel and putting down a layer for weed abatement. On the bottom we have 4x6's placed on top of the piers. On the top we have 4x6's placed into the Simpson ties and set to level. The work is checked for level. The face plate is temporary placed and underneath we have the gravel placed. 2x6's are placed 16 inches apart and place with Simpson ties. Another row of two by sixes are placed in Simpson ties and we are also putting on a coat of wood sealer. In back of the park model, the sand has penetrated the siding. The siding must be removed along with the sand and the back cleaned. The siding has been removed. Here you can get an idea of the mess that was behind the siding. I have cleaned the siding and now I'm caulking the side of the first strips. I have also caulked the nail holes. Next, I'm going to put up T111. I have put more weed abatement on the ground. As you can see, I also have a little white bucket over the top of the piers. I do this for a safety measure. In case somebody falls, they won't get hurt. I have installed two by six planks on the deck. The deck halfway completed, the T111 installed mech the park model and painted, and the propane gas tank must be moved. More work on the ground cover with the rock completed. This is the picture of the progress at another angle. Another shot of the back deck that's been treated. Another section has been installed with treated 4x6s in a top 4x6s installed in Simpson ties. The rest of the deck planks are installed on top of the deck. The rest of the deck planks are installed and screwed down. A string line is used at the end of the planks and cut off to make them straight. See how nice and straight the deck planks are and the scrap on the ground. Ledger plate is installed for the 4x4 Simpson ties. Checking out the view while standing on the deck. I like it. Here I have extreme limited clearance and I'm using string to work out the three inch drop required for the proper drainage. I'm starting with the add-on portion first since it has the strictest requirements for drainage. I am installing the painted 4x4 Simpson ties. This is a support for the ledger of the park model. This is being done to take the stress off the park model and place it on the deck. The 4x4s are being installed into the Simpson ties. The 4x4 Simpson ties were previously sprayed black as shown here. The rest of the 4x4 Simpson ties are installed. The 22 foot 4x6 rough cut beam has arrived. I will need help to get it placed. One of the 4x4 rough cut posts are installed for the beam. A close up shot of the posts being installed with lag screws. A quick mock up to check for proper drainage. It is correct. The 4x6 rough cut beam is installed. Lag screws holding the support post. The center support posts are leveled and installed. All four support posts installed from a different angle. 4x4s for the ceiling installed. 2x4s installed for the rail. It must be level, of course. Rail installation to the 4x4 rough cut post. Cutting the 2x2 guardrails to length. 
drilling holes on a mill for a production run. Rails cut to length and pre-drilled holes with the angle on the end. I have installed the rails. Installing all those rails is coming along. A very good friend of mine checks out the progress. Glad to see you smiling. Another angle of the railing with the lag screws. Another angle of the work with the lag screws. Another angle of the work with the lag screws. I have started the steps for the deck. In this shot, I have added more planking and the kick plates. Here is another angle of the steps. A rough cut 4x4 post and the railing I use for the steps. Here I am using C-clamps to dial everything for level and straightness on the steps. This is another angle of the railing and the steps. Another portion of the railing is added on the deck. Another angle of the steps and the railing with lag screws for the deck. A wide shot of the steps, deck, and railing. Steps, deck, and railing from a different angle. A deck now ready for the roofing. Tongue and groove used for the roof and treated before installing. Tongue and groove placed on the roof. Tongue and groove placed on the roof. More tongue and groove placed on the roof. Tongue and groove placed on the roof. With the use of a chalk line, the tongue and groove is fastened down on the 4x4s. I continue to fasten down the tongue and groove onto the 4x4s. Checking out the view. I like it. Screwing down the polycarbonate green sheets I got from Home Depot. They are used with the special screws with a little rubber washer to prevent water leaks. With the use of a chalk line, the polycarbonate roof is screwed down. A picture of the deck. Standing on the deck, looking out toward the mountains. All right, that's it. Here's the view from behind the uh, add-on in the park model. Some of the considerations that I did was I wanted to use a, a real long beam. It's over 20, over 20 foot long, and it's a 4 by 6 rough cut. And it was special order from Gernal and Lumber along with the, uh, the same rough cut 4 by 4s uh, I know a lot of people would have used two, two beams on top and then fasten them together you know to save money but that wasn't the point it's more of an artistic look to use that solid beam all the way across something you would see at disney or knott's berry farm and uh like i say uh, those are truly uh, four by four posts or four by six posts uh they haven't been milled down and milled smooth like you would see if you got them at home depot so yeah it makes a it makes a real big difference in the way it looks on con uh, construction also, the other thing is I didn't want to have it painted. I think it would have destroyed the look on it. Uh, and that is why this has got uh, uh, some um, uh, waterproofing throughout the deck. And that way you see the natural wood color. And that's what's important. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. This is Kathy Stringer signing out.